With the U.S. government delving deeper into reports of UFO crash retrievals, reverse engineering, and even non-human biological samples, sometimes the most interesting UFO cases come from a time before modern technology. And on Vancouver Island on Canada's west coast, something strange has always been happening there for at least as long as folks have lived on the island. Back in 1908, in the little Vancouver Island community of Duncan, a then 12-year-old girl was heading back to her simple country farm after an evening stroll with her family when she decided to run ahead and close up the chicken yard to protect the animals from nighttime predators. She says as she was closing it up for the night, the whole place illuminated with an intense bright light and she saw a large craft ascending upwards about 40 feet towards the treetops. Now the witness says their simple rural farm had no electricity, running water, phones or cars at the time and only birds flew in the sky and sometimes the odd thistle seed and she'd never even heard of a UFO. She described the craft as morphing into a dark mass once it reached the treetops with red, blue and green lights on it. It then moved horizontally for a few hundred feet before zooming away silently. Terrified she'd never seen anything like that before, she says she ran inside and cowered until her family came home. It was only later in life did the woman say she learned of her neighbor's encounter, who had lived in the area at the time as well. Now she said this craft moved horizontally along the ground before it zoomed away. And in case you were thinking this might be a plane, it's worth noting its inventors, the Wright brothers, had only just taken their invention, still in its infancy, to Europe in 1908 to demonstrate the reliability of propellered flight. Adding another layer of mystery to this story, the woman says around the time that late summer, she was walking with friends and the sky was suddenly raining down strands of what she described as angel hair. Long strands of something white falling all around them, but it didn't stay on the ground. It just seemed to evaporate. You couldn't catch it and hold it in your hand. What she describes is very similar to what happened over Florence, Italy in the 1960s when thousands of people witnessed a UFO swarm and that seemed to leave similar strands of strange material behind after those craft were seen zooming away. Now some believe the strands could be produced by electrogravitic vehicles when they zoom around, essentially when they create little gravitational warp bubbles around the craft and this material sloughs off when they move about. Now the report was sent to UFOBC over 50 years ago and the investigator at the time of UFOBC was a noted journalist and UFO researcher who would looked into hundreds of cases and at least felt this one was interesting enough to note in the logs. So what do you think? Do older UAP reports give the issue more credibility? Or are they just cases of simple folk from simple times getting it wrong? I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to know what you think. Share your thoughts below. What is your opinion of the story? Special thanks to UFOBC for their great archives. Stay tuned. The video on the encounter in the 1960s in Italy, well, that's coming up next.